I think we can all agree that space games have never really been perfected. Most of them, like Starfield for example, have the same exact problems and I don't know if they're ever going to be fixed. And with Starfield coming now, I thought it would be a great idea just to talk about it and to acknowledge the flaws that basically all of these games about space have. Before we get started, I just want to mention that this is on the Ones and Zeros YouTube channel, and I actually have my own YouTube channel because this is a collaboration between me and some other YouTubers. So all of our channels will be linked in the description if you're interested, and we have Discord servers as well. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into why games about space Space just don't feel right. There are a lot of different games about space, but the ones I'm going to be talking about are No Man's Sky and Starfield. I think it's safe to say that those are the most iconic and recognizable games about space to come out so far, so I'm going to be talking about those for the most part in this video. No Man's Sky was, I'm pretty sure, a mess at launch. I mean, I wasn't there, but with updates, it's become a pretty good game and it's actually worth playing. And Starfield just came out, well, for when I'm recording this, and I don't really know when this video will be out, so Starfield could have came out like two months ago, but even though it just came out, it is still a very, very popular game about space. I think the biggest reason for that is because it has real graphics, and other than that, that's like about the only thing I can say. Starfield has problems, and No Man's Sky has problems. They're really, really good games, but I can't call them masterpieces or amazing games at least. But I can see why, because they're space games, and space games are really hard to get right. So hard, I don't think any game has actually gotten the space setting right. Which makes sense, because in other games that are open world, you have one world to deal with. Bethesda made Skyrim, and Skyrim has a really great open world, and Starfield's open world, or open worlds, is not even close to as good. And it actually has the same exact problem as No Man's Sky. It is really, really hard to make every single planet you land on interesting, considering it's another massive, huge open world. You're gonna have to make like nine more times for it to be considered a real space game. So for Bethesda with Starfield, it would be like they were making multiple different Skyrims. That is a pretty hard thing to do, and they didn't do it right. I don't know how you would do it right, but they did not nail it or do anything different than any other game about space I've played. It has the same exact problems. You land on a planet, there's like nothing around. There's some random animal that you can see, and that's about it. It's just some more flat land. And there's invisible walls as well, so it doesn't really give you that much freedom. And I can understand, it is really, really hard to get this right, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to acknowledge the problem that its open worlds aren't very entertaining, like, at all. I just don't care. I only care about the side missions and the main objective. I have literally no incentive to explore because it's just not fun. Which sucks, but it makes sense again because there are so many different planets that it's not really possible to nail each and every single one. But even though I think exploration is the biggest problems that all games about space share, I also think there are some other pretty big problems and one of them is physics. Physics may seem like a little bit of a weird thing to talk about, but for games especially about space, I actually think it affects them a lot. Basically every single game I have played, it doesn't feel like it's actually space. Okay, for example, in Red Dead Redemption 2, it feels really, really real. And I know it's kind of crazy to compare these games to Red Dead Redemption 2, but still, no game about space has really ever matched that feeling. Even with Starfield having really, really realistic graphics compared to all the other games, it's definitely something that with the next game about space, I would like to see them 
in proof. Like I want to be able to take my spaceship and crash into an asteroid and explode. I want to be able to choose where I land on the planets instead of just pressing a couple buttons in the menu. I want to like be able to manually do it. I don't care if it's not realistic, I want to be able to do it because it would be way more fun. If I'm traveling to another place or planet for a mission or whatever, I don't want to just have to fast travel there. I want to manually do it with my ship. And I understand that's probably hard to develop. And I also understand that it's probably not realistic, but who cares? I don't care if a game is really realistic. I care if it's fun. And only fast traveling wherever you go making the game a loading screen simulator is not fun. Okay, okay, I know it may seem like I'm asking for a lot right now. And I may be being a little harsh because the truth is these games aren't bad games. They're fun, but they're not what I want from a game about space. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm actually being too harsh. If you're gonna make a game about space, I want you to do it right. And if you don't do it right, I'm not gonna pretend like these problems don't exist because they do. They're annoying and they're not fun. Sure, they're probably hard to develop, but I mean, you're making a game about space. Things are gonna be hard to develop in that game and if you can't do it, don't make a game about space or else people like me are gonna be making videos like this about how it doesn't feel right because it really, really, really doesn't. It feels glitchy and buggy and this may not be true, but it, it feels lazy. I'm sure not all of the developers for these games are lazy, but it, it feels that way. And I know I keep using this game as an example, but with Starfield, it's just Skyrim and Fallout 4 in space and worse. That's, that's, all, that's all it is. If any developers were able to make a game about space that fixed problems like these, it would probably be in my top 10 games ever. And if they really, really did it right, it could be considered one of the best games ever made. But obviously that is yet to happen, which makes sense because again, for like the 50th time, I know this is hard to do. I'm not a developer, but I think I can understand making a game about space is hard to do. It's just that I'm still gonna criticize. One thing I wanna point out here is out of all the things I'm going to be talking about in this video, this section is probably the least important. I mean, I'd much rather games about space improve their exploration than their physics, but I thought that this was important enough to at least mention. So, so far, exploration has applied to both games, and the problem with physics definitely applied to Starfield more than No Man's Sky. But now it's time to move on to a problem that No Man's Sky definitely has a lot more than Starfield, and that is the confusion. I've kind of been talking a lot of crap about Starfield when it's not really that bad of a game. It's definitely not a game I'm going to be finishing and it's not something I'm going to be playing very much. But really, it's like a 7 to 8 out of 10 game. And one of its biggest strengths compared to a lot of the other games I've played this year is that it's not very confusing, especially for a game that's about space. There was some problems with the way it taught you some stuff, but overall, it had a pretty nice introduction. And so did Skyrim and Fallout 4, so I'm pretty happy with that. So then I moved on to play No Man's Sky, and it was a little more confusing. Not only was it confusing, it was kind of boring, and it was overwhelming at the same time. I really don't know how that is even possible, but I guess it is. One of the biggest problems I have with games that I try out and play is that their tutorial sucks. Like they don't teach you how to do anything. And while No Man's Sky doesn't completely fall into this, it still does a little bit. Like the amount of stuff I need to craft and I'm just pressing buttons without knowing what they actually do. I usually like trying out games for videos, but No Man's Sky was a, it was a weird experience. After a while, I think it wasn't too bad, but I just got bored and stopped playing. Because that's not what I want from a space game. I want what Starfield has, but I want it with the amount of detail that No Man's Sky has. And I guess it feels like no developers can just combine both of those strengths. Instead, they have to make one or the other, and they both have a lot of weaknesses because of it. And that really just kind of sucks to me, because both these games have a lot of potential, but they just have so many problems, and I'm really just not interested in them. Now, this doesn't mean that you won't enjoy Starfield or you won't enjoy No Man's Sky, because I can definitely see how someone would enjoy these games. And I feel like these games should be for me, 
because I absolutely love space. I love space and astronomy and a game being made around it sounds awesome until I actually play it and then it's not fun. Especially when it's confusing. Now while saying all of this, it kind of makes me wonder if a video game about space comes out that fits what I want it to be, then will it end up still being confusing? And to be honest, I really don't know. It could possibly be really, really confusing. Because again, it's a game built around space. Space and astronomy itself is already really confusing. The amount of work that I would have to go into a game that's really, really good, like Red Dead Redemption 2 level in space, is unbelievable. So I would still expect it to be confusing. But maybe they could make it confusing in a fun way, instead of just like, I don't know what I'm doing, No Man's Sky way. Now before I end this off, I just want to say I don't dislike Starfield or No Man's Sky. If you like these games, I'm really jealous of you. I pointed out some problems that I had with the games, and if you really don't care about these problems, that's really cool. But they're still there, and we should still acknowledge them. I mean, in my favorite game ever, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, there is still a lot of problems with the game. And I think it's important just to acknowledge all of these issues so that games in the future can improve. And if there is one thing I want to see, it's a game about space in the future improving upon all the other games about space. That would be really cool. Well, if you made it to this point, that means you either skipped through or you actually watched a video, and to that I say thank you. I basically spent all day just editing this video, and I'm not used to it, so this was kind of a lot of work in one day. I'm just glad I got it done, and I hope that the people that watched this video enjoyed it. Also, expect more content from other YouTubers as well on this channel, because it won't just be me. I have my own YouTube channel, and they do as well, and that will all be linked in the description below. We also have our own Discord servers, or just a Discord server for this channel alone, so if you'd like to join those, you can if you want. And with all that being said, thank you for watching, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.